If your children have been schooled in the UK, safeguarding may be a term that is very familiar to you. But as a British school in Spain, it is a phrase that is probably not so well known yet. We wanted to take this opportunity in the video to inform parents of our safeguarding procedures and to reinforce that here at Caxton we are committed to safeguarding. The safety and the well-being of our students here at Caxton underpins their academic success and is therefore central to everything that we do. For the purposes of safeguarding, anyone under the age of 18 years old is considered to be a child. Setting up and following good safeguarding policies and procedures means children are safe from adults and other children who might pose a risk. It means all adults in the school are trained how to respond to safeguarding concerns and it means that we can provide the best possible support for children and families. Safeguarding is the action that is taken to promote the welfare of children and protect them from harm. This means protecting children from abuse and maltreatment, preventing harm to children's health or development, ensuring children grow up with the provision of safe and effective care, and taking action to enable all children and young people to have the best outcomes. Safeguarding concerns come in many different forms. Sometimes these will be direct disclosures of information to adults within the school. Other times, these may be concerns that staff pick up on via changes in a child's behaviour or physical appearance. It could be subtle interactions between students or through work or tasks completed by the students. Additionally, parents may report concerns about their own child or their child's friends, or children may report concerns about themselves or their friends too. Safeguarding concerns may include but are not limited to forms of abuse and neglect, depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts and feelings and other mental health and well-being issues, possible substance abuse, eating disorders and peer-on-peer -peer harassment and abuse. Our safeguarding procedures extend throughout the organisation at every level. Our board of directors have all undertaken safeguarding training. We have trained multiple staff in safer recruitment techniques and all staff who are interviewed and appointed undergo rigorous background checks, both here in Spain and abroad. We have two designated safeguarding leads or DSLs, one in primary, Barbara Stenhouse, and myself in secondary. As DSLs, we attend level three accredited training every two years in the UK to ensure our knowledge of safeguarding practices and procedures is refreshed and up to date. We're responsible for leading the school's safeguarding policies, procedures and investigations. And we also have two deputy designated safeguarding leads or DSLs, Sylvia Sanchez in primary and Christina Perez in secondary. Our DDSLs, along with all primary and secondary heads of year, complete level two online training every two years. Our DSLs and our DDSLs lead annual training for all teaching and non-teaching staff. We advise staff on possible warning signs on the various types of abuse and neglect, and also on signs to look out for in the case of possible mental health concerns. We provide guidance on how and who to report any concerns to and we provide training in active listening. Since preparations began in September 2019 for our British Schools Overseas Inspection in February 2020, our safeguarding culture has really grown and developed. In both primary and secondary, our aim is to ensure that every child has someone that they feel they can speak to if they have any concerns about themselves or others. We are very proud to have an incredible team of teaching and non-teaching staff who are emotionally aware, can identify subtle changes that may indicate a safeguarding concern and who place your child's well-being and safety at the centre of all that they do. We want to remind parents that full details of our safeguarding policy can be found on the school webpage. Additionally, if you have any concerns about your own child or any friends of your children, our DSLs and DDSLs can be reached via email. In an emergency situation where a child may be at risk of immediate harm, children and parents are advised to contact the police. 
where a child is not at immediate risk, as well as contacting the school for advice, children, young people and parents may also contact the Fundación Anar via their webpage. Young people who need help and support can call confidentially on 900 20 2010 or 116 111. And parents who want to request help for young people can contact 917 260 101 or 600 50 51 52. Ultimately, we want to do all we can to help keep our children and young people safe and to ensure that safeguarding continues to be a priority for everyone here at Caxton College.